for our Gila National Forest Campground Review. I'm Ray, and you're watching the Corn Dog Caravan Channel. My wife, Chris, and I decided there's more to life than working and doing house projects. So we sold everything we own, built out a Ram ProMaster we call Lotus, because others think it's stupid, and are traveling full-time seeing friends, family, and exploring the beautiful country around us, along with our two Boston Terriers. We are at the Grapevine Campground within the Gila National Forest. I think there's about five or six different campgrounds within it. None have reservations required at this point in 2022, which we're in February right now. Yesterday was our hike to Little Bear Canyon Trail. Unbelievable hike. And as you saw in the last video, if you saw that, if not, hit that little link right up here. We finished off the hike with some snow and then it continued to snow last night here at the site. It was snow, a little sleet, and then it stopped probably about eight o'clock last night. No accumulation, but we really love this spot. Uh, the Gila National Forest as a whole, we really love lots of hikes. The Gila, um, the, the cliff dwellings, the, the hot springs, all those um, we absolutely love. The campsites, the campsites are pretty good. Um, you're right on the water for a lot of these. We haven't gone down the road to see maybe what more is here. I think there's a lot more to be seen. Some perks, there are some pit toilets, we didn't use them. No trash cans, no site number, so it's just pick your spot. There's probably about at least 20 here that we've seen um, people use. Super quiet, we've only seen I think maybe one or two other campers per night. So it's been really quiet, we haven't had any issues here. Getting in and out's easy, the road coming down, I won't say it's steep, but you'll need, but depending on your traction, uh, we got a little tire slip, but I need new tires too. So where would we rank this? I'm gonna say this for at least in 2020 was definitely number one for the year and I guess even compared to last year, this might rank number one even compared to last year. So this may bump possibly Twin Lakes, Colorado. Still too early to tell. But the campsites we loved, the hiking we loved, the remoteness is definitely here. One thing I'll say, at least T-Mobile, we've got no covers, not even with the Weeboo. So if you're coming here, we've been unplugged for at least four days and it's been nice. Got some videos done, got some editing completed. Did a campfire this morning, put it out, put about maybe eight gallons of water on it, make sure it's completely out. The temperatures are great today. It's probably in the 50s or 60s right now, beautiful blue skies. So yeah, highly recommend. And if you have any comments or questions about the video or the campsite, or the channel or anything else, please hit the comments below and put a comment. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the little notification bell because we are getting a little bit more videos out, a little bit more on a regular basis now. So I think for as far as Brutus, he loved it here. Let's, uh, let's get some input here. Okay. <laughs> Hello. So I gave a really deep uh i guess review of the site we've got brutus here i think brutus loved it there are no cactus oh no no I cactus his, his no spurs his feet are happy hey, my feet are happy <laughs> so yeah I, I put this probably at least for the year definitely number one and this yeah. may bump i said it earlier don't say it it may bump not for me no for you but you can have it um, beautiful. I love that there's no cactus and um, I love the water. I think why we love it so much is we spent so much time out in the desert and this was just like a, an amazing oasis. We're seeing trees and water and grass and yeah, water, <laughs> water <laughs> and green. Yeah. So. so I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I probably can't add any more than what you probably already said. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know if it was helpful. Also, please comment below if you have any questions about the van build or suggestions about the future content as we build out this channel. Follow us along our journey on Facebook or Instagram using Corndog Caravan. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and tell your friends about our channel.